morning everyone and welcome to Wednesday morning prayers I'd like to welcome this morning uh, Jeannie who's with us and brother Sean uh, and anybody that's not logged in this morning so we'll begin this morning with a, a lighted candle if you want to light a candle and join us we light a candle for global peace and into spiritual unity. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother God who creates life. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life. In the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia who is the earth mother that nurtures the creation of all life. In the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of the divine life. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by honouring the Supreme in our life. And we say this morning, be still and aware of God's presence within and without. So we'll begin with the prologue to the Wednesday morning communion. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father and earthly mother and great masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings, reverence to the brotherhood of the elect. Wednesday morning we commune with the angel of sun saying, angel of sun, enter my solar center excuse me, and give the fire of life to my entire body. As these words are spoken, you contemplate the rising sun and experience the accumulated solar energies radiating through your solar centre, located at the solar plexus, sending healing life force energies throughout your entire body. So we think for a few moments of the angel of sun and how we could do with a little bit of sunshine in the middle of winter. So if we just imagine the sun shining upon us, but the S-O-N, the son of God. And I'd like to say the prayer of protection. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, I draw a bloodline by faith this morning around the Teo community, around each of us in line this morning, around our health, our finance, our homes, our partners, our families, our life's work and our friends and clients. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power wondrous power in the precious blood of the risen cosmic Christ and neither Satan nor any of his co-workers or dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline. Amen. Now we stop for a few moments and think of the things that might be troubling us today. Maybe we've got a health issue. Maybe we've got money worries. Maybe it's the weather that's troubling us, as with Brother Sean up in Cumbria. Just bring these issues to the Lord this morning. And we pray, in the comfort of your love, I pour out to you, my Saviour, the memories that haunt me, the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, the frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, your love in my need. Touch us, O oh Lord, with your healing power and your strength, so that we might be able to return to you, children of God, whole, perfect and complete. Amen. Give joy to your servant, Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. The prayer of a poor man in distress, Psalm 86. Blessed be the God who comforts us in all our sorrow. 
Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give, give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no work to compare with yours. All nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvellous deeds. You who alone are God, Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depth of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruth men, ruthless men seek my life. But to you, to you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and, and um, um, compassion, slow to anger, O oh Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. Give strength to your servant and save your handmaid's son. Show me a sign of your favour, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Amen. Christ the firstborn of all creation, the firstborn from the dead. A canticle from Colossians. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints of light. For he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created in him and through him and for him. For he is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church, he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Now a scripture reading from Job. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked shall I return. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If we take happiness from God's hand, must we also not take sorrow too? Now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zachariah. If you'd like to join me in this. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he has promised from the lips of holy men, those who are prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his way before him, to make known to his people their salvation through the forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those who are in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, 
and guide us into the new way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now I'd like to share a little reading from my upper room this morning, and it's called Relying on God, and it's by someone from Indonesia. And there's a scripture and it's from Isaiah and it's and it's a one that we all know. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And then there's a little testimony. It says, as a Christian, I know I am called to show my faith by spending time with God, loving my neighbour and forgiving my enemies. These are difficult commands, but it's often my own weakness that makes me unable to follow them. Sometimes I am weary, sometimes I am lazy, sometimes my pride gets in the way. Then I lose heart and I'm tempted to give up altogether. God knows we cannot obey in our own strength and we can, we can count on God in every way. Even as we try to follow Christ, when we succeed in obeying God's command, we do so because, because of the gifts of grace and strength that God offers. God's, God promises us strength when we are weak and power when we are powerless, when we feel powerless. When we ask for help, our strength will be renewed. We will mount up with wings like eagles, we shall run and not be weary, we shall walk and not faint. And there's a little prayer and it says, Dear Father, thank you for your patience with us when we fail. Help us to love you the way that you want you want us to want us to and help us to overcome our weakness as we seek to follow you. Amen. And the thought for today is our strength is not sufficient, but God's strength is. And the, the prayer is for those, to prayer focus is for those that are discouraged in their faith today. So I thought that was a, a nice one to share this morning. So if you're struggling at all, take time to wait on the Lord. I know uh, uh, when I was younger as a Christian, I used to, I didn't know much about meditation in those days. And I used to just spend time waiting on the Lord, just sitting in the Lord's presence. And, 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 and I, I know that after I'd, after I'd spent time in the Lord's presence, I used to get a real sense of the Lord's love with me. And it was such a wonderful feeling. And sometimes we just have to sit in his presence and wait, and he will renew our strength. So we come to prayers this morning. If you can hear something bleeping, it's just me, electric meter. <laughs> so I'll just share a few prayers from the book this morning. God is love, and he who dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. In Jesus Christ we see how God loves us. Let us renew our faith in his love. You have given us life and light this morning. Let us give thanks for the gifts of your sacred hand. You are sole master of the future, of our future. Keep us free from despair and the fear of what is to come. Love has no ambition to seek anything for itself. Strengthen our will to give up selfishness to dare. May your love in us overcome all things let there be no limit to our faith hope and our endurance amen so we pray this morning heavenly father earthly mother god we pray this morning for the tayu community we pray for all its members past and present 
and we pray for all the friends, all our friends and prayer partners today. And we pray with Brother Sean, we pray holding all here, and especially those who have, who have now been flooded four times, especially those in Cumbria. Uh, and we pray uh, for all those on our list, that's Jeannie's request this morning, for all those on our list and for all those that we are concerned about this morning, we pray for them this morning. And we pray for world peace. We pray that peace will come to this world and people will learn to walk together in love. And we pray holding all God's children, especially the refugees and migrants in Europe. Yes, we pray for the, for, for the refugees and the migrants. We just pray that their needs will be met and that they will be provided for. I'd like to pray this morning, we are pray, holding Brother James and his team about to go to Syria for peace. Excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. Um, we're holding Brother J James this morning. Uh, and we pray for his safety and for the, for the safety of all those that are with him. We pray for them today. And we pray, thank you, Brother Sean, we pray for myself and for my family this morning. And we just pray for, for strength for each one of them. And we pray, I'd like to pray for family harmony. And we pray today, uh, holding Jeannie and her health issues. We pray for Jeannie this morning. No, Jeannie's had a uh, bronchitis and we pray for Jeannie. We just ask for your healing touch upon Jeannie, Lord, and pray that you will give her strength. And we also pray for Brother Sean. We pray for Sean this morning that that he will have the health and strength that he needs to be able to continue and we just pray that you will lay your healing touch on him too lord today and we pray for brother sean we pray um holding all our monastery hens who are so very wet with all the rain we pray for the animals that are out in this severe weather we just pray for them and we just pray that lord you keep them safe I'd like to pray this morning uh, for Eleanor and Elizabeth today. We just ask a blessing upon them today. And we ask for health and strength and we ask for safety. And pray that everything will be all right and they'll be all right and be kept safe uh, while this uh, severe weather is with them. And just pray that this weather uh, will, will pass away. Uh, and we pray, I pray this morning for Elaine Laura and for Miriam, New Zealand today. And we pray for all those that come on to live stream and that share on live stream on Doves for Peace. And we just pray a blessing upon Doves for Peace. And I pray for all those that come and listen. And we have about 14 viewers at the moment. Uh, and we just thank you for these viewers, Lord. And we pray for Margaret and Victor. Uh, and a prayer for um, Lita and Ron and a prayer for all those that come uh, and watch our, on live stream and we pray for our three new members Sister Nancy, Lita and Margaret and we hope Brother Rob who is visiting the police in Lancaster in his role as police chaplain we pray for Brother Rob today and I'd like now to stop for a few moments and just bring all the people that we're burdened for and all the people on our list today, we just bring them to the Lord and we just stop for a few moments and just give them up to the Lord. We just try and turn our prayers over to you, Lord, this morning. And all the people that we're burdened for today, we just turn them over to you. And we let go and let God this morning. And we let God take a hand in our prayers. And we just say thank you, Lord, that you are that you are looking after these people and that you are taking and you are working in their lives, Lord. Thank you. 
And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Heavenly Father, earthly Mother God, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation today, Lord, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us from all negativity, Lord, today. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And I'd like to pray for all those that are close to us who have passed away. We pray that their souls may rest in peace. For all those in troubled places, we just pray this morning for all those in troubled places in the world. We pray that peace will come to this world. And we pray today for unity of all faiths. We just pray... Uh, that peace people will learn to come together in love for all those with serious illnesses and serious diseases and pray for those suffering in mind body and spirit today we pray for them and we pray for all those with nobody to pray for them today and we think this morning of brother Paul who usually joins us we pray for brother Paul this morning and we just ask a blessing upon him and upon his friends and family and we like to, I'd like to pray for my friend Paul who's on a cruise at the moment so we pray for his safety and we pray that he'll really enjoy uh, and pray that the weather will be good for him he's round Greece at the moment so we just pray for Paul today and we pray for all our pets today we just pray a blessing upon our pets and we just thank you for our pets and all the love and comfort that they bring us we just thank you, Lord. And my birds seem to go quiet when I'm when I'm online. It's as if they know what know what we're doing. Um, we just pray today for all those that are suffering, and we just pray. We just give up all our prayers to you now, Lord. And we pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill our hearts with life anew that we may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Touch our lives, Lord, that we might see you in everything that lives and moves and as it's been from you this day. Empower us, Lord, to live in the present moment, seeking only your love and light. Amen. And now we'll draw to a close now with the blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother, son and sister moon be in our hearts now and forever. Amen. And we blow out the candle and send love, light and blessing and peace to all those troubled places in the world and we blow love to one another. Amen. And I think the sun is just coming out from behind the clouds, so I think our prayers have been answered this morning. And I'd just like to say a thank you to the Lord for all the prayers that he does answer. Thank you, Lord. So I say blessings and peace, everyone, and have a great day.